Hey guys, Mugsy here, uh, right back where we left off from the last episode, and I guess the first thing I want to do real quick is apologize for how choppy that episode got. I, you know, I didn't have all the footage I needed, in fact, when I was recording for that, I wasn't even fully committed to the idea of doing YouTube videos at that time, so I didn't have everything that I had done, so ended up with no footage of me doing any building and stuff, and I'm trying to cut it to where, you know, seemed like I did it on purpose. Now, the fact is, I just didn't have it. And, uh, rookie mistake, understand, you know, you know, even my playtime is choppy, guys. Like a lot of you, have got three kids. My wife is a teacher. Her whole classroom setup is our dining room and living room right now, you know, because of the COVID-19 distance learning quarantine stuff, right? So, I'm sure a lot of you guys, or I hope... A lot of you can identify with the predicament there that, you know, a lot of us play single player because we need to be able to hit that pause button. Um, anyway, to the matter at hand, we are getting ready to go on a trike hunt, and in that uh, vein, I am making a trike set because the small storage boxes are just, I mean, you're running out of space really quick. We have gotten to the point in the game that we need. We need big boxes, right? So I'm making, I made one of those just now, and I'm going to probably place it outside, because the thatch hut where we're at right now is, that was temporary. The, the actual base is going to be much bigger. So I'm going to put this temporarily, no, I'm going to put it up on the deck. <laughs> you can place these on the ground, as you can see just now, but if a dillo comes up and wants to chomp on it, and that's bad, right? So <laughs> let's avoid it altogether for the most part. Anyway, let's uh, get rid of these seeds, drop off any items and equipment we don't want to carry along with us as we're searching out our trike. And uh, I'm going to come in here. We're going to go ahead and make up those trank arrows that we made the narcotic for. Um, and we're about it. We're, we're going to be after... Um, I think I'm looking for pretty much anything under level 20 in terms of the trike. Uh, and the last thing we got to do is to make up a second bow. It's a good, good rule of thumb to have two bows because they can wear out. Um, we're going after a low level trike. It's not going to be much of an issue of the bow breaking, but it's just it's good habits. So two bows on the bar with the chosen ammo. Um, you can use one for tranks, one for actual arrows for protection, or you can double up tranks in case one breaks. Um, trike taming can get hairy. I don't. It's an interesting little statistic in the game. The two um, biggest killers of new survivors, raptors, which instantly. Uh, yeah, excuse me. Interesting enough, raptors right now aren't doing their pounce for some reason. I hope they just finally took that crap out of the game, man, because raptors are nasty. That said, trikes, number two killer. Um, there's just... I've, I think it has to do with just how many there are, and you accidentally aggro multiples and stuff. But, I, uh, anyway... Um, yeah, the uh, trikes, they, they, they kill you real bad. <laughs> they can get hairy real quick with them, but there are some techniques. So right now, we're just kind of running around in these woods, and again, remember we chose to start South 1. I mean, usually it's very peaceful like this. You can run through these woods without much of a problem most of the time. Every now and then, raptors will kind of aggro down into the woods and be running around, but I've never actually seen them spawn in that wood section. It's always something like they've run into them chasing something, and they're there, right? But we're just going to go around our normal little digs where we've been making our hunting passes looking for fifth, you know, 10, 15, 20 in terms of level of a trike. Not that one. That's 95, right? That'd be a good one to get later if we want a serious uh, berry picker. But honestly, if you remember that 
level 20 stego up the hill would be is actually a better berry picker than that uh than that 95 trike and since i'm not gonna do oh that's pretty oh my gosh that is a that's probably our man let's do this guys all right so i'm gonna look around the area um we're not we're far enough away we're not gonna aggro the 95 but okay there is another one over there um but i think it's far enough so let's do this now trikes will usually start by trying to uh, follow you, and that's what he's doing. Now I can't hit him. If I hit him right here, I'm gonna aggro the. Yeah, that's a 40. Um, it's doing its charge. If this hits me, it's gonna knock me like crazy, and I'm stunned. At this point, to salvage this, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna run and de lose aggro. I haven't hit him more than once. And therefore, okay, he's lost aggro already. Uh, what were we just saying? Trike taming can get hairy. And what we're really looking to do, number one, I'm trying to get him away from other trikes so I don't have to deal with them. Um, and I know there's another trike, and that's what I was looking for at the very beginning. There's another level 15 trike up in the woods somewhere. So even if I get this guy away from this 40... I'm probably going to be aggroing the one up in the woods, so I've probably got like one or two more little segments like this of having to uh, try and kite this guy away from other trikes and then finally get to taming him. Meanwhile, I am pecking him with these trank arrows, so um, he's accumulating some torpor, and trikes have slow torpor drains, so each one of these arrows, even though the effect is wearing off, his torpor is probably going down, so when we do finally get, a, get around to really tranking him up, he will probably fall down pretty quick. But I've about got these two separated. And uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to go for it at this point and uh, see if we can get this guy finally down. What I want to do once he's away from the... Uh, the other trike is I want to lead him into the tropical trees over there to our left. His trikes are very easy, so I'm probably going to get the aggro again here. Trikes are very easy to get stuck on trees, and then you just kind of sit there and tack away at them. All right, we got him. Oh my god, here's the third one. <laughs> Hi guys, I am not a pro uh, arc player, and uh, this has probably been way more trouble than it was worth for a level 15 trike, but uh, I can't. Yeah, he's that's a that's that other level 15, isn't it? <laughs> I don't want him. He's ugly. The other one's cool looking. I'm going to go get him. Uh, all right, we've lost aggro. All right, I think now I have them all separated. Now, see. That's, yeah, that's the other level 15, but he's just an ugly brown. I don't want him. I've gone through all this trouble. I want the cool, you know, awesome-looking trike, right? I don't care if he's level 15. He looks cool. He's he's going to be mine. All right, where is he? Uh, so this is level 40 down on the beach. I guess it didn't aggro. That's, that's cool. And, uh, what the heck? The, the, the... The mysterious tale of the disappearing trike. No, I'm thirsty. Let's get some water. There's the level 40. Pink bunny dodo. I know. Okay, he's right up here. Probably right on the edge of where I wanted him to be anyway. So this may have worked out perfectly for us, guys. And, uh... Um, what the... There... Yeah, look at that. Look, at, This guy is gorgeous, man. Look at that. I wish you were max level. That would be like one of the coolest looking trikes in the history of trikes, right? Anyway, we're in the thick now. We're not getting any other trike aggro, and I'm leading him over into this. This is a trike trap right here, guys. All these close together small trees. The trikes get stuck on this so easy. What I'm going to do is he'll get through that. There it is. Look at that. You see that small opening? He's going to run straight at me and get stuck. Now you want to shoot at his legs here, like I didn't just do. If you shoot him in the face on the bone plate, 
he takes reduced damage, reduced torpor. And look at that, out already. I was saying, the, uh, the little, you know, the few arrows I had already, you know, plunked into him in the process of all that messed up kiting, uh, had already brought his torpor down. Guys, at this point, the, uh, I'm just gonna go get some berries. There's no real hurry. Trike's torpor rate of decline is, uh, very slow. So we've got time at this point. So what I want to do is just go ahead and get medges on him just to go ahead and start him taming. He is a level 15. He won't take forever. Um, but we are starting to get into some bigger creature tame here. So it ain't going to be a level 10 dodo. You know, we're going to probably need to set up some protective... Um, perimeter around him while he uh, while he tames up because this will this will likely go into the night and maybe into the next game day even for the level 15 so I'm gonna get uh, some you know, hide and I need some wood fiber and I'm taking one of these standing torches you'll see what I'm about to do in a second but uh, we've got our we've got our taming berries or our initial taming berries got some hide, wood, fiber, and what I think I'm going to do is uh, just surround him with some wood spike walls, pop up a uh, standing torch, and we'll be on about our business as we let this guy tame up for us. So I suppose now is the time to talk about why, why is it so important to get the trike. Um, if you remember I talked about earlier about how many berries you can get in uh, in these woods and even a level 15 trike and trikes being kind of on the lower end of berry gathering efficiency just because of the clustering in these woods be careful when you do what I'm doing right here don't hit the tame it's a level 15 it doesn't matter if we hit it um, but if you actually hit the tame like if you pack it with an extra arrow while you're while you're knocking it out if you punch it after it's knocked out or if something comes up and starts biting it it will dramatically lose taming efficiency so I was just chopping that tree right next to him just be very careful not to chop in his general direction right so this whole time you notice though I'm not really worried about him waking up and I don't know if I've ever explained that specifically there you go you see how little his torpor had gone but down even with all that time the reason you pump narco berries into these guys, or narcotics, or later biotoxin from jellyfish, um, if the torpor, after it's gone all the way up and they've fallen unconscious, if the torpor reaches back down to zero again, they wake right back up, and the whole process has to be done again. So that's why you keep feeding them the, the narco berries, the narcotics to keep them knocked out. As long as they have accumulated torpor, once they've been rendered unconscious, they will stay asleep. So at this point, yeah, I'm going to make up some wooden spike walls, get the uh, get the torch going, and then we're going to basically babysit this guy um, until he's up. And what we will do at that point is we're going to go on a berry extravaganza and try and get a few thousand uh, narcotic narco berries. And there's a reason for that too, and that's why he is the next step. That pterodon, being a 140, is going to be like a four-hour tame. That's bad enough in of itself, but pterodons also have very fast torpor drain. Meaning we're probably going to need several thousand narco berries to keep that guy asleep once we knock her out, right? And um, that's just the problem with doing things with the rudimentary uh, ingredients like just base narco berries. It's going to take way more of them than we can hand pick. We couldn't possibly do that. So we needed to go to this next step of getting the berry picker. We needed this anyway, right? We've got to get into creating getting good flow of narcotic creation which means we're probably very soon going to be in the market for a carnivore so we can more efficiently efficiently gather meat um all kinds of things um that the trike is opens up and and usually your 
your first berry picking herbivore is the first step in progression past I've just woken up on a beach, right? So I think we've lucked out with just how neat this guy looks, though. Uh, or, you know, half of the game is having things look good, right? So <laughs> we've got a cool-looking one here. Um, he's pretty much safe at this point. Uh, you know, with the with the spike walls, they have a uh, vision breaking, with just like a regular wall. Um, things will still aggro on them, but they can't see him, so they won't aggro directly to him. I don't believe. I could be wrong. Somebody correct me on that if that's the case. Point the being, though, you put the spike wall up, things are going to bite it before they bite him. And they're usually, around this area, if something aggroes onto a spike wall, it's going to kill itself. There's only, like, I know Therizinos and Carnos can spawn up behind us, up on that, uh, that grass plain ridge. Um... It'd be about the only thing that could actually get through a wooden spike wall around here, and we don't have any around here right now spawned, so it's not a problem. Um, back to talking about the pterodon, because I'm just I'm just jabbering on because this is going to be a long process, and like we talked about earlier, I'm trying I want to leave more content or more recording in. Just watch the process go, right? The pterodon. So I said uh, while we were taming the iguanodons that I would explain why I'd be willing to go through, and let's talk about the concept in what's different about you know taming in one by versus taming in two, three, four, six by taming. With six by taming or four by taming, you know, like you know weekends on the uh, weekends and Evo events are like four on um, official. Um, and when I talk about four by official is always now two times rates. Okay, there's no such thing as one by anymore on official. Um, official is always two times, no matter when during the weekday, nothing going on. That's the new base is two by. Um, weekends doubled to more or, or closer to like three, three point five, something like that. Um, when you have increased race rates like that, you're, what you can do in what amount of time with what resource is drastically altered. Um, when you play on the old rate, this is the old rates, one by, things take significantly longer. Um, and if you're using base material, you lose a lot of taming effectiveness. Um, we're going to go get this green drop. This is, so, for all that, that you missed in the second episode, because I didn't have the footage, this is what I've been doing all along. Basically going around, gathering stuff, building foundations, and hitting these green drops. Uh, this is, this is arc life here, you guys. Um, but anyway, one by taming, one by gathering, you have less materials to work with, and they don't go as far, and they're less effective. Oh my goodness! Ramshackle Raptor Saddle. We're going to be in the market for some Raptors then. Um, that's cool. Uh, raptors, in terms of their gathering efficiency, aren't much better than metal tools, but uh, we just got us a saddle. That's cool. I'm happy about that. Um, yeah, don't, don't sleep on beacons, guys. People complain that the beacons are terrible. No, J play the game. Stop complaining. <laughs> you know, we just got us a ramshackle saddle right out of a, a just a standard beacon. No ring, nothing, right? Just open them up. Do it. Play the game. Uh, all right, rant off. Where was I talking about? The um, efficiency in taming. So, us seeing a 140 pterodon, a lot of people would typically say, man, what a waste to raw meat tame that. Because you're going to lose almost all taming effectiveness. It's not going to gather, it's not going to gain more than maybe 5, 10 levels by the end of it. But it'll still be a level 140. It'll never be less than a 140, guys. Think about that. Um, Pterodon is your, if Argent is the rite of passage in Ark from mid game to late game. Um, the segue into the Argent is a good pterodon. 
Now, typically, you might say, well, what is, wait, was that the male or a female? I don't know. Um, I think we may have the pair. If that was a male, we're not taming Packies right now. We don't even need Packies. Paradon. Segue to the Argent, yes. Okay, the... Think of it conceptually. We would normally want to tame, you know, our first Pterodon in a few, you know, few days here. We'd be after the Pterodon, and we'd be looking for something that we could, you know, a 50, a 60-something. Something something in the mid-range that wouldn't be terrible to tame, but that would have okay-ish stats. And then we'd get the saddle on it, and we would definitely run a Explore Note run with it to try and just, I don't know, 10... 12 boxes at least to be able to get the levels on that thing to be able to pump enough stamina so that when you're flying around on the guy you don't have to stop every 22 seconds to regain stamina that's your typical way your first pterodon goes well we had the 140 sit down right next to us and while it will likely i haven't done the dodo decks but i guess we're all meat it's probably not going to turn out it's, it'll be probably i don't know about a 150 I don't think we're going to get more than 10 levels, but it'll still be that, and the, the, the stam pump from each level thereafter is going to be far greater than would be off of a tamed 50 or 70. See what I'm saying? So despite losing so much, and it is a shame, we won't end up with the 203 or 202 or whatever a 140 ends up with when you kibble tame, right? we still end up with a very high quality first pterodon and that is worth it it will pay dividends in terms of what we need our first pterodon to do it will have higher base health it'll get more stamina per pump and and generally be more effective and more combat capable in case we accidentally get in some kind of a scuffle or if it gets attacked while we're away we're you know, taking it over near the redwoods to put up our, uh, you know, to put up our first uh, wooden platform for, you know, and saps and, you know, a low-level thylacolio hits us and the pterodon has to fight back or flee. At least it'll survive that better than the 5070 would. Does that all make sense? Conceptually, I am willing to go through the what's going to be four, four and a half hour taming process to get a really good base, wild leveled pterodon. And from there, we will have a great segue into the next phase of gameplay. And speaking of next phases of gameplay, uh, our truck's about to pop up. So, uh, rather uneventful night and uh, next day leading to this point, and any minute now, there he is. Friar Tuck, or Trier Tuck, as it were. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna run back to base. I'm gonna unload. His, remember, we've got a level 15 here. He's got no kind of weight. So I'm gonna go unload basically everything out of the inventory, and we're gonna show off a little of what this guy can do. Cause running into the next episode, we are basically running straight to knocking out that pterodon. Uh, now we've got the means of getting all of the narco berries that we could possibly ever want to uh, keep that pterodon knocked out. So I'd say the uh, excursion was a success for our means and purposes, wouldn't you? <laughs> so yeah. Um, you know, I don't even need any berries really, so I'm going to pop these over onto Iggy and because uh, the track's going to get its own berries to eat. That's it. Let's go on back and pop on this saddle and get to working on leveling a forest. <laughs> um, trikes are really fun. I was talking about e efficiency, and you know, I, I haven't gone over from the second video what all the dinos can do. You know, that's probably I don't have any uh, saddles for the iguanodons. Um, but we'll have that coming up soon. I want to get through this first... These first few episodes, are, we're going to amass a few dinos. And uh, then once we have the means, we'll go over each one and talk about what they actually do, what purpose they do serve or once did serve, because the game has changed now. We're, uh, we're into 
about a month and a half into Genesis, actually. Uh, the the game that Ark presents is a very different game now than it was three years ago, four years ago. But uh, I'm just going to leave the spike walls here for now. Remember, we uh, disabled um, Decay. Those will stay there forever. But I'm gonna, I will come back and pop them up because, you know, obviously they're in the way and I want that area for farming, but let's see what the Triceratraps can do. Did you see that one hit? <laughs> Boom! Look at this. Berries for days. Can you believe that we just spent like 10 hours of gameplay picking by hand and this guy just picked basically every berry we ever picked by hand in two hits with his head. But this is what I'm talking about about this forest. Look at that. This is on one by gathering rates, guys. This forest is amazing, and trikes are really good at what they do. Even though I think they're they're only like third up on the list of being uh, of efficiency for uh, you know gather per hit. Um, but what what we're after right this moment is just the narco berry. So what we'll do is we'll get him until he's weight maxed, and then I'll pull narco berries off like I just did there. And uh, dump his full inventory, just drop all, and we'll go right back at it. He won't starve, obviously, because we're going right back and pumping more. If he's hungry, he'll eat a couple berries while he's steady farming. But I want to get maybe 500, 600 berries, and then we're going to be running over here. And uh, the pterodon is right up the hill. Like I said, it was meandering this whole time, and uh, it has meandered towards a more dangerous area. And before it makes it all the way up this ramp, I want to go get it because I do not want to be taming it up there on the ridge. Is uh, that's a recipe for a raptor or a carno spawning on top of us? Anyway, guys, here we are. Bull is out and dun 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 cliffhanger. Pterodon taming. Next episode. <laughs> See you later.